Well, as promised, it's um, another Cooking with Grandpappy day. And today I want to show you how to reduce your economic footprint and make sure that you're recycling everything you possibly can. Uh, in the old school the world of Polish and German tradition, that was just how we did it. So by the time we got to the garbage, there wasn't hardly anything left. And so really what I did is when I was seven, my great grandmother showed me how to do this. And I, I call it cooking with garbage. But I, I think you see what, I, what I'm talking about here in a minute. So you know that wonderful carcass that you had for, for Thanksgiving? Well, instead of just throwing it away, here's what I recommend. That is, you boil it in a very huge pot. And you can see that the juice is in there, but, but um, all the turkey that came out goes over here. And it, it goes over here after it goes into this bowl. And this bowl is for putting the, the meat from the stock with these tongs. And um, then this is the bone bucket. And then in the bone bucket, we throw that away and it becomes the least amount of trash you can produce with the turkey. Don't forget about the wishbone. And I recommend you let it dry out. You usually hang it on a, a cab cabinet cupboard handle. And that's how we, oh, this is this thing here. Now, it used to be, when I was a kid, we didn't have one of these, but this is an oil and grease separator. You can see how it's all clung up with the, the grease. So, we know that those are, um, are bad fats for us because it uh, at room temperature it becomes solid. So, that is a, a polysaturated fat. And then the rest in the bottom is actually the juice that you pour through this nozzle and it takes the stock out and you put the stock into this pan here and it's a screen so um, what I've been doing is I've uh, gotten a screen here to get whatever doesn't shouldn't be in the the juice and then we get over here and we it, it sorts it a little bit more and by the time it gets over here the idea is that you're gonna put the turkey on one side of the pan and put your pulled turkey on the other side, on the other side, and um, you're going to look for bones each time. Because the last thing you want is to have a bone in your throat from Thanksgiving. Well, that's the whole story on Grandpappy's Old School Cooking. I hope you have a great day, and uh, live it up. Life is all we have.